Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn data aggregation using of course pandas and data frames. So data aggregation is the process uh, that you know involves having operations or functions that result in a scalar. So we have for example a list or an array or vector values we do some calculations or some operations and we end up with one value with a scalar for example if we can use a count you know to count how many values we have in a vector or in a series or in an array compute the mean compute the sum the minimum value the maximum value and so on and so forth so, so, so the result is always one value a scalar and that's straightforward to do with pandas and with the you know group by here we import the normal way we import pandas, we have the usual data frame. Uh, let's take a quick look, you know, just, oh, I'm sorry, just to remind ourselves um, I've deleted that by mistake. I wanted to add a new cell just to display what the data frame looks like. And here we create a group by object like we did before. And now we're grouping by city and rank. And what I'm doing here is I'm saving it into a variable to make to make things easier. So I'm, I'm basically saving the um, the group by city and rank. If you remember, we said before that we can group by you know more than one column. We pass them as a list. Uh, and I'm saving that into a city rank. So city rank is a you know a data frame group by object, right? And in this data frame, uh, data frame group by object, we have several functions. One of them is aggregate. So if I do city rank dot and do tab, we can have a list of you know a, uh, several functions that we can have a look at. Um, we've seen the describe before, but what we, what we wanted to have a look now is one called ag for aggregation. And if we do shift tab. And have a look at the documentation. It tells us it aggregates using input function uh, or dictionary. You can read more about it. the documentation. It's not, it's not too long, but we can pass it a function that basically returns a scalar, a function like, for example, mean. And you'll notice here what it does is uh, let's have a look at what city rank looks like. The results. So, so we have. Rome first, and then the values. Rome second, and the values. The usual way of um, of uh, grouping by. And here, what it does here is, it goes to each group of the grouping by and computes the mean. So we have the mean for Rome first score one, Rome first score two, Rome second score one, Rome second score two, and so on and so forth. It can be the mean. It can be the median. It can be min or max or maybe standard deviation, and so on and so forth. In fact, um, this aggregation is so nice and powerful. If you had a quick look at the documentation, um, it actually says that we can pass a list of functions. So we can, instead of having max only, we can have a list of, let's say, um, max, perhaps, min and standard deviation of each of you know these results of the group by maybe uh, let's say mean and so on median and so on and so forth if we run that then we get this we get this nice result so group by with aggregation functions is a powerful tool that we have to you know look at summaries of our data and so on and so forth right um, not only this but aggregate is so nice and really flexible that we can pass our own function uh, instead of having the already existing ones. What I've done here is I'm importing NumPy as MP and I'm just, you know, basically finding the mean of the data structure that we're passing. I know I know we have the function mean already, but I just wanted to demonstrate that we can have a custom function, you know, our own function to do that. So I have here def, define, you know, as a function, uh, find mean, and we pass it v, our, v, our data structure. So here, a series or an array column or something like that or vector and what it does it just returns that the mean it computes the mean and returns it using uh, numpy okay so let's run that and then here when we have city and rank basically we're calling aggregate and we're passing it our custom function okay so what it'll do is it'll compute the mean for the results of the aggregation so city 
in Rome first, mean for score one, mean for score two, uh, Rome second, mean for score one, and mean for score two, and so on and so forth. If we look at that, that's exactly what we have. In fact, let's try and pass it in a list along with other already existing functions to make things more interesting. And as you can see, the results are fine. Notice the column name here is the function name. So if we uh, name the function appropriately as we usually do, then the results will be quite meaningful. Okay, so the results will be easy to read and understand. Okay, so hope, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, quite powerful stuff to do with group by and these aggregation functions. Let's stop here and continue in the next video. Thanks again.